Hello Aries, welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber. Thank you for coming if you're new. Welcome. I um, hope you enjoy the reading. This is a general reading for your sign. bottom of the um, astrology deck is south node so some karmic things coming in there for you which which is very much a, a Piscean um, a Piscean thing so this is about karmic to do with with you know what you have built up with your person in in other lifetimes Let's see what we've got here. Resolutions and endings may come in, but this can be cycle shifts. It's not necessarily the end of a relationship, but it could also be like some aspect of it is falling away and, in, and a new era begins or you go to a new level. Um, you'll just have to see how it resonates for you. Bottom of the um, goddess deck is Sulis uh, bodies of water. So spend time near water, very important. But there's, there's things um, being shifted. Um, this is all about the past and baggage, uh, whether this is... Um, emotional uh, baggage from previous relationships or within this relationship but it uh, can be um, to do with past lives as well so it could be as I said calm you know you've come in with a karmic contract with this person and it's work through it's about working through those um, through those issues what it is you've come here to work on and um, their appearance in your life what role they're playing and how you are going to deal with the um, with what needs to be done so let's get a destiny card now. Discretion, okay. Let's get a moonology. Uh, a new start is coming. Okay, so there it is. Um, so you've got Kali endings and beginnings, but it says a new start is coming. So some sort of shift is occurring, which is going to uh, going to change a few things. Bottom of the um, moonology deck is uh, full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. So I feel you're going to get um, you're going to get some insights, which is what the spiritual side of uh, Pisces is all about. It's that deep instinct and intuition, and the discretion I feel is about keeping things sacred within your relationship. If that applies to you, you know, just keep it. What is going on or what, what you're thinking or feeling and all that. Just keep it uh, sacred uh, with your person. So now um, for you, as I said, uh, between you and your person, this can be interchangeable. You may see qualities in them that um, you are reflecting and so on. But this is um, the position for you. So Sagittarius, I see, is salt undying love. Um, so it says the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. And then we've got Sagittarius IC. So I feel this is about um, seeing the bigger picture of your relationship. All right. So this is actually understanding the deeper concepts of the relationship. Whatever role this person is playing in your life um, and, um, you know, however long they are going to be in it with you, um, whether you're just starting the relationship or you've been in this for some time, um, it's about stepping back. And seeing the bigger picture, that is what the Sagittarius energy is all about. Um, it really is um, deep intuition, it's the intuitive processes, so it's understanding the deeper aspects of your relationship and also seeing into their, um, getting a glimpse of their uh, situation. You may be understanding things or you may be seeing things now that you did not see before. And um, with assault, this can be, in some cases, this can be letting go of past experiences 
preconceived ideas um, and, um, and, and uh, you know, your feelings about a relationship or relationships in general um, or your, um, your particular um, part in this relationship. It's about seeing that and letting go of the past, um, letting go of aspects which have, have um, either ended or closed down or shifted or changed. And it's now it's about opening yourself up to new love or to renewed love. Um, but it really is the love, love vibration. So whatever went down before, whether it's with your person or in other relationships, however, whatever stage you are in your life, this is about acknowledging that everything, every relationship that you have been in, I'm talking about love relationships, every relationship you have been in, um, everything that you put into that relationship is recorded in the Akashic Records. It's all recorded there. And... Um, so don't think for one minute that whatever you have put into this current relationship or any any others has been lost or is just not ever acknowledged. That's not true. It is recorded. It is there. And it's always going to be an undying love, um, whether it's for this person or others. And, and by that, it means that it's, it's a universal system of re recording. So the love you have shared is always going to be there. And when you pass from this life, the only thing you take with you is love who you loved and what you loved, all right? So it's important that you place it, um, uh, you know, in that context. It doesn't mean that you have to keep carrying a candle for that situation or that person or that experience for the rest of your life. You can you can um, rest assured that it has been recorded and it is there, um, but you are now opening yourself up to a new phase. So this is perhaps a new under understanding of your situation, understanding of your relationship, understanding of your person, seeing things, seeing the big picture, um, and um, really, you know, spending, sort of going through a deep healing. And so this is about accessing that healing um, and um, and completing things and, and getting a really deep grasp of um, of what love is and the spiritual concept of love. So it's, but as you go through a renewal, you go through deep healing and you come out at the other side and you are ready to open up to a new level of love or to new love or whatever is appropriate for you. All right. So um, spend time in nature, get out, be social, um, mix and mingle, do whatever you have to do, if, especially if you are not with your person. Um, there may be some reason why you are not together um, or you're only in sort of, um, you know, sort of occasional co communication or perhaps you're just not in the same place place you know that can happen now with the Sagittarius energy it could be that um, there's a bit of travel involved sometimes that can come in with Sagittarius but this is about expansion this is about understanding this is about um, intuition um, and this is about exploration and adventure so just understand that this process of healing and then moving into a new phase of love is is an adventure it is a learning um, exercise and the whole concept of now undergoing swift and um, very swift and comprehensive healing comes in with undying love um, and then opening yourself up to new circumstances to a new level of love and a new understanding um, of you and your person of or just of you you know depending on your situation now, um, for here, uh, your person is undergoing quite a bit of healing as well. So healing is a very big theme here. Um, so you may need to apply this uh, to your person. So Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. And that can certainly be um, Isolt's theme as well. All right. So really, um, just apply this uh, to your person. Your person is going through quite a lot of healing. They are healing um, a lot of wounds um, and um, going through quite deep processes. But the only way they can heal from that is to open the wounds up and let the light in, go through through forgiveness rituals um, and actually do all of that. Now, a lot of that is done in dream work or in um, in the dream state. And so Pisces can really activate that. All right. So they could be doing a lot of work while they're sleeping so um, or dreaming. So but it, it's about unconditional love and they have to get in touch with this as well. You will also have to. But they they this is what they are going through, what they're understanding at this point. And with the Pisces energy that can that can really hit home because that is what it's 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 a it's a it's a very high vibration for Venus to be in and, and the sun and Neptune. So really very high Pisces energy, very watery, very spiritual energy. And then you've got the other side and they may be reflecting on their past. They may be thinking about what caused the wounding, how the wounding occurred, how they got themselves in those situations. So this could be past relationships, but it could, if you've been together a long time, then this could be understanding deeper aspects of your relationship or what you've been through. And, um, 
what your person has been through with you. Um, but coming to understand this, um, loving themselves, very, very, very important. So they're going to be learning lessons about that, and then they can love others. All right. So whatever, whatever you've discussed, or whatever you've been through, or whatever stage you're in. Love yourself first, and this applies to you as well, and then you can love others, because then your cup is full, all right? You can't give from an empty cup. So this is a major lesson. So I feel that both of you are going through this, um, and this is just being reflected um, in this manner for them, but um, this is some... some some sort of um, understanding needs to be had of unconditional love. They need to do forgiveness rituals. They need to do, uh, go through the forgiveness routine to release them, their energy from past situations where it's been trapped because of non-forgiveness or because they just have suppressed it, you know, um, and needs to be released. The wound needs to be opened up so that the light can, can get in and then the healing can come in. And um, they will learn a lot from this experience. And in some cases, some of them may be able to help others with the same thing or just their advice or just their presence around others who are going through the same thing can be very helpful. All right. Um, also, spending time in nature will be very helpful for them. And... Um, um, anything to do with nature, actually. Also, all natural therapies, natural healing, if they are open to that. In some cases, this can be, um, you know, vibrational healing, as in um, flower essences and so on, or it can go right through to, um, uh, you know, sort of some other form of healing. There's many, many different types. Uh, so Reiki or whatever is applicable for them, even just meditation, you know. So that may be applicable. So if you can help in, in any way, shape with that, then fine. But just know that this is the process that they are going through. And you may see aspects of that in yourself because this is why you're together, all right? You've set a course together and this is what you've got to work on now. So um, for the um, situation, you've got void, of course, moon. So there is some delay or, um, uh, or just things have gone quiet. Things are, are going into a sort of a shadow phase where there won't be much happening. But this is purposeful, all right, because the moon goes through a shadow phase between signs where they do, it looks like nothing's happening. But that is it, it's it's um, things are not what they seem. That is what this energy is about. Um, and this gives you time to contemplate this Pele divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? All right. So um, so what you need to be thinking about is is um, your place in this relationship um and and where you're at with it and in the meantime if you're going to stick with this relationship if you're really going to apply yourself then how do you get in touch with the, the divine passion and normally that is this is the ideal time to work on yourself while you're going through this quiet period where there doesn't appear to be much happening it's not a great time to be launching big things or um you know, initiating big things because there's, it's a shadow period. It's a time for dreaming, planning, rest, recovery. Um, and this may very well be your, through your, for your person. Your person may have gone through some deep healing or deep, um, sort of, uh, could have been over a number of months um, and they're now going through a recovery period so not much is going to happen all right but it's also a time for you to be going through that because you are also going through deep healing and this is a time of contemplation of, of really seeing the big picture and you can do that through dreams um, resting recovering but also planning and, and and thinking about the future but just just in the planning phase this is a pause to gather your energy and your resources it's a pause period all right. Um, and during that time, you get in touch with your divine passion, which is also time for your own self-development to fill up your own cup, which is about your particular interests, what you want to do with your life. That's very, very important um, because you will lead the way um, in this uh, because, you know, it's coming. This is a very strong energy. This is about not doing things robotically. This is not doing things like other people do or what's expected of you. This is about doing what is in your heart and following that. Um, and allowing that, you know, giving that permission to to come out and, um, and and allow that passion to come in because you can't just do things the way they always have been. You need to change it up. You need to get in touch with what 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 makes you move, what what gets you up in the day, and what will um, ignite this in the relationship as well. But it's it's a dreaming and thinking phase until you can bring this in. Now, for the um, advice section, as I said, there's Kali endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. And then you've got lunar eclipse change. So there's a lot of eclipse energy coming in here. There's eclipse there. And um, as I said, this is the lunar eclipse um, aspect as well. The next um, eclipse will be in May. 
So um, now uh, with this, um, Kali is the ultimate get things done goddess. So there is some big cycle shift going on here. So whether you are wrapping things up or your person is wrapping things up or you are in it together, but there are things that are ending and things that are beginning. So it could be a phase that you've been or a cycle, a cycle that you're in. Um, or it could be um, that uh, there's been lots of other things going on which are now completing and finishing and moving out of your lives. And um, it's laying the ground for a new fresh start. All right. But it's saying that the old must be released. So whether this is them or whether this is you or this is within your relationship. As I said, you need to get in touch with your divine passion. Each of us are responsible for this. We are responsible for our our own happiness nobody else can give you that all right so get in touch with your own self in the meantime your own passion um, get busy with what it is that you are um are you know wanting to start or you know initiate but but wait until this energy comes in because there's a pause period initially so just go through the thinking and the dreaming um uh, phase at this time until you get the go ahead um, and then you can move forward but this is about releasing um, and this can be karmic um, um, issues that you, you you've both been working on so this can be karmic um, uh, issues that you've come into this lifetime to work on with this person from previous uh, times that you were together um, it could also be to do with jobs or it could be to do with um, a way of life that you perhaps have led even together or on your own. Um, so things have to be released at this time in order to bring this newness in, this fresh start, this new beginning. Um, and the lunar eclipse change is just reiterating that again. Um, this can um, unfold within six weeks or within, um, uh, it can unfold over a six month period, but the initial change is always usually abrupt. So it can be a quick shift from one phase to the other or one cycle to another. Um, and it can be that you were uh, wondering about this uh, sort of occurring uh, or there were inklings of things uh, but once once this energy comes in it can happen very quickly and very abruptly um, and uh, so it's like a bubbling over something just bubbles over and now um, um, you've got uh, a completely different landscape from where you were before and um, so this can be a change within the relationship or you may be deciding other things just take it as it resonates for you so whichever but um, so new moon is always fresh start this is um, you know uh, something new is beginning and Kali is re reiterating that as so and so is lunar eclipse change so there's a big change coming in um, but it's how you handle the change your attitude to the changes this could even just be a massive realization or some kind of perception shift it can be a physical change so in other words um, some other like a relocation or a change of residence or a change of position in life you know you may be changing work or whatever it is lifestyle and um, this can be quite a big shift um, but it, it can also be um, purely a perception or a realization shift and that is entirely possible with um, as I said with that Pisces energy as we start off this phase so but something is ending something is beginning things are being let go of you've got um, south node which is about releasing things releasing the past um, for you and your person or within the relationship to take it as it resonates for you but a new beginning is coming in and um, this is going to bring in fresh energy um, and the bottom of the um, moonology is uh, the answers you need are coming full moon and gemini so there's communication uh, coming in whether it's you know if as i said it may just be a discussion with your person or you may be hearing news um, it could be worldwide news um, or it could be something specifically for you um, or it could be coming from your person so um, you know there's communication there's um, opening up of the channels coming in but it's like a result but it can also be forgiveness related and it can also be um, uh, like um, just just you know some sort of um, like a forgiveness ritual but also it can be um, feeling gra grateful uh, perhaps this big shift that you're going through is going to bring in new things which really are going to move you forward tremendously and I, I do feel that will happen with Kali because she's the ultimate get things done goddess and uh, with lunar eclipse you can literally shift overnight from one place to another or in your mindset or your attitude so lots of newness coming in and um, so your answers your answers are on their way uh, whether it's written or verbal um, you know it's it's Gemini so it's communication based it could even be document or contract based. But um, certainly a new beginning is coming in, some sort of new start. Um, and um, in some cases, it will be very quick and, and very sudden. And uh, But she's saying, don't be afraid. All right. Don't be afraid to let go of the past to move forward because it's going to bring in. 
it's going to bring in um, everything that's necessary and it's inevitable all right it's inevitable what you're going to go through here um, then we've got here um, for the um, potential or the outcome we've got Ishtar boundaries and we've got second house we We've also got here Sulis bodies of water. Spend time near water such as a lake, river or the ocean to recharge your battery. So again, a lot of Piscean energies once we're starting this um, this um, period of the reading. And so spend time near uh, on or in a water body, uh, whatever, is, uh, whatever you can get to, whether it's a lake or a river or the ocean, um, or even just do water rituals at home. Um, because the water is a, a spiritual body, all right? Very spiritual body. Um, it will cleanse your aura. It will clean. It will detail. It will cleanse away all the negativity, but you need to actually be immersed in it. Um, you can do it in the shower or in the bath. You can have salt, sea salt baths. Um, do whatever you can, but it's about getting in touch with this emotional energy, and you can meditate on it as well. You can walk near water. You can spend time near water. You can perhaps take a weekend away or just have a break. And um, some sort of, some sort of, um, perhaps you know, even if it's a day or a weekend or whatever, you can manage to recharge your batteries because there's a lot of healing and shifting and changing going on here, and that uh, because this healing is swift that you're going through. Um, and it will be comprehensive. And once you've been through this healing and these changes and you've examined your attitude and, and how you're going to approach the changes, because your attitude is going to determine how this is going to unfold. All right. Um, be open. Know that this, these changes have to happen. It's inevitable. It's for your highest good. And um, don't fear them. And um, just go with it. Um, but to make sure that you are recharging your batteries, that you are actually um, going through this, um, this, uh, you know, uh, this change in the best possible way that you can. So look after your energies. Uh, very, very important. And um, then with this, as I said, the South Node Life State. So this is about releasing um, karmic things that you have built up with your person from past lives, but also in this lifetime, releasing the past, let it go. It doesn't serve you anymore. Find resolution, dissolve things, um, complete things, um, actually, you know, uh, find resolution. Release the past so that you can now move forward. And um, this can be in, in, in lots of ways. Um, this can be, as I said, to do with external things like where you're living or where you're working. Release all of that. Release the past and move forward because that is where you're going to be going. And um, this is this is drop the baggage. Let it go. Um, and uh, welcome this healing and this um, new expansion, this expansion that's coming in. Welcome the healing and um, and open that up and let go of the past. I um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, please take care. Don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe. And um, have a wonderful month and I will see you next time. Take care.